Hello and welcome back to Learn Node.js on Code Academy. We're in the articles. This is JavaScript for Node.js. Review of essential JavaScript concepts for Node.js. Welcome Code Academy learners. Congratulations on the progress you've made thus far. The goal of this article is to review some important JavaScript concepts that will be useful to fully utilize Node.js, which we will dive into in the next module. This article will cover topics such as arrow expressions, non-blocking I.O. or input-output, the set interval function and the set timeout function, and modules. If you're thinking to yourself, wow, I'm not sure what these concepts are, that's okay. If you would like to learn more about a topic, click on the links throughout this article. Now let's get to our first topic, arrow expressions. Arrow expressions. With the introduction of ES6 ECMAScript in 2015 came a new feature called Arrow Expressions. Arrow Expressions has allowed developers to omit parts of the function they don't need. This means that it allows your code to become more maintainable and organized. Let's take a look at the code below. You will see two different functions defined. The first is anonymous, which means the function is not named, and the second is named. When using an arrow expression, we do not use the function declaration. To define an arrow expression, you simply use parentheses and this here arrow, which is the equals and the greater than sign, and then opening and closing braces. You can pass arguments to an arrow expression between the parentheses. So here we see defining an anonymous arrow expression that simply logs a string to the console. So we have our console log here. And inside our console log, we have this arrow expression that's going to log sh I'm anonymous. Here we're defining a named function by creating an arrow expression and saving it to a const variable hello world. Here we have const hello world and it's assigned this named function which we've named hello world. So here we create the arrow expression and we're saving it to hello world. Here we see an example of calling the hello world function. We say hello world. We could pass in our value and it will output welcome Cody to Code Academy. This is an arrow function expression. So when we call the function and we pass in our value, it runs everything inside here with name passed in being Cody. It's going to log out welcome and then Cody to Code Academy. This is an arrow expression. Asynchronous concepts. When it comes to development in Node.js and JavaScript, we use a mix of synchronous code, which is blocking input-output, and asynchronous code, non-blocking input-output. A common example of asynchronous code are promises. Promises. A promise is a JavaScript object that represents the eventual outcome of an asynchronous operation. A promise has three different outcomes pending, the result is undefined, and the expression is waiting for a result. Fulfilled, the promise has been completed successfully and returned a value. And rejected, the promise did not successfully complete. The result is an error object. In the code below, a new promise is being defined and is passed a function that takes two arguments, a fulfilled condition and a rejected condition. We then log the return value of the promise to the console and chain a dot catch method to handle errors. This is going to be creating a new promise and saving it to the test look variable. Two arguments are being passed, one for when the promise resolves and one for if the promise gets rejected. So when we run test look, it's going to give us a random number and if that random number is less than 0.5, this will be true and it will resolve as lucky winner. And if it's false, it won't run this code, but it will run the else, which is this reject with the error unlucky. So if the random number is less than 0.5, it will log out the resolved value. And if it's not, then it throws this error. Async await. The async await syntax allows developers to easily implement promise based code. The keyword async used in conjunction with a function declaration creates an async function that returns a promise. Async functions allow us to use the keyword await to block the event loop until a given promise resolves or rejects. 
The await keyword also allows us to assign the resolve value of a promise to a variable. Let's take a look at the code below. In the code below, an asynchronous arrow expression is defined with the async keyword. In the function body, we are creating a new promise which passes a function that is executed after 5 seconds. We await the promise to resolve and save the value returned to final result. And the output of the promise is logged to the console. So here we're creating a new promise that runs the function in the set timeout after 5 seconds. Down here we're creating an asynchronous function using an arrow expression and saving it to the variable async function. So when we call this asynchronous function and it runs this code, we're logging final result. Which when that happens, it's going to await new promise, which is going to run this here. Set interval and set timeout. In addition to utilizing the async await syntax, we can also use the set interval and set timeout functions. In the example code of the previous section, we created a set timeout instance in the promise constructor. The set interval function executes a code block at a specific interval in milliseconds. The set interval function requires two arguments, the name of the function or the code block that will be executed and the number of milliseconds, how often the function will be executed. Optionally, we can pass additional arguments which will be supplied as parameters for the functions that will be executed by set interval. The set interval function will continue to execute until the clear interval function is called or the node process is exited. In the code block below, the set interval function in the show alert function will display an alert box every 5000 milliseconds. Defining a function that instantiates set interval. Here we have const show alert. It's this arrow function here, which is calling set interval and passing a function that shows an alert every five seconds. Here we see set interval, which has this alert, which says I show every five seconds. So then we call show alert. Once it's called, we run set interval, set interval after five seconds, we'll alert. I show every five seconds. The set timeout function executes a code block after a specified amount of time in milliseconds and it's only executed once. The set timeout function accepts the same arguments as the set interval function. Using the clear timeout function will prevent the function specified from being executed. In the code block below, a function named show timeout is declared as an arrow expression. The set timeout function is then defined and displays an alert box after 5 seconds. Here we're defining a function that calls set timeout. Here it is, set timeout. And what is it doing? Well, when we call set timeout, it runs set timeout, which we have this arrow function inside of it that's going to alert I only show once after 5 seconds. And that's what happens if you call show timeout. We go into our function we call set timeout that's going to pass a function that shows on alert after five seconds our review congratulations you made it to the end of the article you were ready for your journey to learning node.js that doesn't sound right but yeah we covered essential javascript topics such as arrow expressions asynchronous programming non-blocking io the set interval function and the set timeout function if you are unclear or want to learn more about any of these topics that have been covered, utilize the Code Academy forum or click links in the article to learn more. Okay, so that was a lot to take in. Um, you could also see more about JavaScript if you have any questions in our Learn JavaScript courses that you can find at wewillcode.com courses. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.